Welcome to Marek's Mediocre Masterpieces, the show where I recreate a masterpiece in just 15 minutes using my paint set. Hello art lovers, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be painting George Stubbs's Whistle Jacket. Hmm, a fine specimen indeed. So get your timers on and let's hope I do a Stirlian sterl job and don't have a nightmare. Worth one yet. Good luck everyone. And we're off. What do we know about George Stubbs? Incredibly, he was self-taught. So any excuses you've got at home, old Stubbs here just did it himself. He was fascinated with the anatomy of horses. Rather gruesomely, he used to cut them up and sort of hang them in his shed to help him with his painting. Fortunately, I couldn't get any horses to cut up in my bedroom. So I'm just going to have to rely on raw skill. Lovely muscly beast here. This is of course his whistle jacket. Was commissioned by the Marquess of Rockingham. It was one of his race horses. Although he's famous now, he apparently wasn't that good a horse. Question of the day. George Stubbs infamously painted an animal from just its skin. And it was one of the first times that animal had been seen in Britain. What was the animal, my friends? An aardvark, a hippopotamus, or a kangaroo? Imagine seeing one of those for the first time. Here is the animal. Excuse me, mate. Uh, I asked you to do a picture of my kangaroo and you've done a massive giant mouse. My brushes are solidified. This is the bad brown from years ago. All right, bad brown. I remember you messing up my early pictures. A thoroughbred. A stallion. Well, um, Marcus of Rockington, I've got a new horse for you now that you might be interested in buying saw. Promise you it's one of the best horses I've ever seen saw it is. Why would I want to buy a horse when there is no horse racing? Well, you see, uh, Marquez, we started to do the, the indoor horse racing now. Indoor horse racing? Yes, it's sort of the rage. And this horse, I've never seen a horse go so quickly from the lounge to the, the kitchen. Be amazed. Most of my horses end up looking like dogs. Absolutely pony, mate. George Stubbs cuts up the horses in his bedroom. Do you want to come see my, um, horses? Uh, no thanks, um... Stubbsy, I think I'll give it a miss today. Let's give him his mane. Lovely head of hair. Well, it is the finest horse I've ever seen. I would love to ride that. Mm. Oh no, I've only given myself three minutes to do the horse's face. There's his nostrils. Give that horse an eye and a yeah, white flash. I messed up the eyes, just, just do the hoofs, you idiot. How long have you got? One minute 38. You fine beast. Don't even know what you're saying, do you? No, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm determined that my horse looks vaguely alive. Drop your paints on the floor. Why not do that? You stupid idiot. Turns out you can't do horses. Come on, try and save it. Four seconds. You can't save it. It's all over. It's all over. <laughs> Stay away from animals. That is the moral of today's painting. Stay away from animals. Don't really know what happened there. There we have Stubbs's whistle jacket and my virgin straight jacket. Let's set the asking price of this for five pence. eBay listing in the description below, as well as links where I got my paints from and a link to my PayPal paint brush and coffee fund which and if you've enjoyed this and want to help me out you can donate to that and thanks to the people who have so far next time my friends we'll be painting this it is lakes and mountains by lauren harris who was one of the canadian group of seven artists another landscape to ruin thanks for watching happy painting bye And welcome listeners to the George Stubbs Lockdown Stakes. It's a bright and early start this morning and it looks like the runners are ready and they're 
off. And it's can't be bothered to get out of bed. Can't be bothered to get out of bed as a front runner. It's can't be bothered to get out of bed. Can't really see any of the competitors at the moment. And here we go. Here comes first cup of coffee. First cup of coffee. Follow a closely followed by second cup of coffee. And now who's it? It's time for a sit down. Time for a sit down. We're time for a sit down. It's really holding prime position for a long while. Time for a sit down. Time for a sit down. It's still time for a sit down. Oh, here comes Carpe Diem. Here comes Carpe Diem. Oh, and brief glimpse of Carpe Diem. And he's fallen at the third. Here comes the internet followed by Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Seem to be swapping continually on a loop forever and ever and ever. And here comes another chocolate bar. Here's chocolate bar. And there's a beer. There's a beer. There's another followed by another beer. And oh, look at his fall asleep on the sofa. Here comes fall asleep on the sofa. And right at the end. Right at the end. They're all pipped to the post by Same Again Tomorrow. Same Again Tomorrow wins the lockdown stakes. Just like it did yesterday and the day before that. Congratulations for still listening.